In this video, we're going to look at the best web hosting for WordPress that you should check out if you want to start blogging or if you just want to create a website for your business or personal use or whatever it may be. Hi everyone, my name is Itamar Blauer. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to stay updated with all my latest videos. So the interesting thing about WordPress and WordPress is by far the most popular content management system on the web. But not many people know that WordPress have actually published a post that gives you recommendations of web hosts that you should go for. And they've listed out three specifically, which are Bluehost, Dreamhost, and SiteGround. So I thought it would be good to compare these three because WordPress are obviously vouching for them and just to see what you get for the price tag as well. So let's start off with Bluehost. And we can see right off the bat, they've got different plans and that's very typical of web hosting providers. You will have some basic plans and some more pro plans that will cost you more money. And the one thing that you need to note is that all of the prices are going to be quite tricky. Some of them can be deemed as deceptive because you might get an offer like this, but you don't read the fine print sometimes and you don't see that it's only if you're getting a three year plan. But let's forget about that for a second and just see what you get with a basic plan because usually if you're starting off blogging and this is the first site you want to get up and this is the first time you're thinking about web hosts, then this might be the one for you. But just remember that with these plans, most of the time these are gonna be shared hosting accounts, which means that your website will be hosted on a server that's gonna be also populated by many other websites as well. So if you're trying to create an e-commerce site and you plan on having thousands of people trying to purchase products at one time, you'll probably be better off going for a dedicated hosting or a virtual hosting plan. But let's take a look at what Bluehost gives us. For three pound and five pence a month, which is the discount where it's normally at almost seven pounds a month for a three year term, you get one website, you get 50 gigabytes SSD storage, you've got some custom themes and support, and you get the free domain for one year as well. So keep in mind that you will have to renew that afterwards. You've got a free content delivery network included and the SSL certificate, so you'll have HTTPS. So this seems very basic, it, as the name suggests, it's quite basic. For that price tag with normally it being around seven pounds, is it the cheapest? I don't know, it's not too bad, but it's definitely something that can keep you going, I suppose. But let's compare it with Dreamhost. And with their shared hosting plans, they start off at 259 a month, which is cheaper than what we just saw from Bluehost. So let's take a look at the plans that they've got here. And here you can switch between the monthly, one year and three year plans. But if we look at the one year plan and see the shared starter, it's pretty much the basic package. And you've got one website with a free domain included and you must actually look at the fine print here with the more information to see what that means. Unlimited traffic, so they're not gonna be tracking your bandwidth or traffic to maybe uh, slow you down if they see you're getting too many visitors and things like that, which is nice. Obviously, WordPress is pre-installed, which I guess with all of these web posts, you will be able to run WordPress on it. With this one though, it comes with free automated WordPress migration, so if you wanna migrate another site to Dreamhost, they'll let you do that. And it's also got a website builder. It's also saying that it's got fast SSD storage, which I mean, it doesn't actually tell you the amount. So that's interesting. You get the free HTTPS in there as well. And you have the option to add an email account as well. But if we move on to monthly, you can see how the price kind of jumps um, slightly as well. It's obviously gonna be slightly more expensive. It's the kind of thing where here you will see that the current one uh, after this kind of starting at, this is always going to be maybe one month or a few months, whatever, it will go to a, another higher price as well. So keep that in mind. And you can see obviously with the three year, you'll if you get that monthly, it'll be slightly cheaper. But that's also quite basic. I mean, compared to Bluehost as well, it's 
not too different. I wouldn't expect it to be too different, but this one just, I suppose, has more options with the email and the migration. So if there's a website you already have on another host um, and you need to migrate the site over, then you'll be able to do that. Now let's move on to SiteGround. And SiteGround is a web host that I personally use for my website. So if you do wanna check out SiteGround, I'll leave a link in the description where you can check it out. But let's just take a look at their plans because their plans are slightly more expensive, but I feel like it's more worthwhile just because of the freedom that you get and the support that you get as well, because I've had some real experience with them and their support is absolutely fantastic. Um, but if we look at the startup one, which is where you'll start out if you've got one website, immediately you can see that the prices exclude VAT and that the regular rates will be about £12 excluding VAT. So it'll be quite a lot more than the other ones. But if we take a look at what you get, you've got one website with 10 gigabytes of web space. It's going to be best suited if you plan on only having maximum around 10,000 visits a month. Unmetered traffic, it gives you the HTTPS, you get daily backups, a CDN, a free email, which is really nice actually, and I utilize that a lot. So you can create emails essentially with uh, info at yourdomain.com or whatever it is. You've got the WordPress on there as we expect, you've got unlimited databases, and you also get a 30 days money back guarantee. So you can essentially pick any plan from here, try it out, and within 30 days, if you don't like it anymore, you can get your money back. So that's quite interesting to point out. But I think if you're starting out as a blogger and you want to be creating multiple websites, then you may consider going for the Grow Big plan because this will just give you unlimited websites. So you can host as many websites as you want. All you have to do is just get the domain name, either get them through SiteGround or get them somewhere else and point the name servers to your SiteGround hosting. But with this, the extra things that you get is obviously more traffic. Monthly plus, you're gonna be getting things like on-demand backup copies. You'll get some uh, better speed boosting cash um, and you get staging as well so you can make kind of edits and test them out before they go live on your sites. Um, and this is something that I would recommend personally if you are starting with blogging or you wanna start doing some affiliate websites and things like that and you wanna test different things out, this will probably be the one that gives you the most freedom. But I think with SiteGround as well, it's important to say that the functionalities and when you go into your dashboard, being able to set up the emails, being able to configure everything, access to your files so you can edit important things like your HT access files, your robots.txt, that kind of stuff you can do very easily as well. Um, and from my experience with SiteGround, any problems that you have, they will fix it very quickly. Their live chat feature, I'm pretty sure is 24 seven and they're very quick to respond and sort out your problems there. So I think you can choose through all of these, I would say, obviously you've got the cheaper options, which I'm pretty sure would be DreamHost looking at uh, just the plans side by side. But I think if you're looking for something more in the long term and you really do want to take your blogging seriously and creating websites, then SiteGround is definitely the one to choose. And like I said, there's a link in the description if you want to check out SiteGround. And that's pretty much it. Any questions or comments, leave them below. I'll be interested to hear what you have to say about these hosts and to answer some of your questions. I've been Itamar Blauer. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like rating below. That would really help me out. And I'll see you in the next video. Hey. You've reached the end of this video, but don't worry, there's plenty more great content that you can watch right now. All you have to do is click one of the two video links on the left side of the screen. And also, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to never miss out on future uploads.